everyone, welcome back to my channel. Colleen for part two. This is part two. We did our skin prep for makeup. If you want to see that, go check that video. If you want to see how we achieve this look, then keep on watching. So I usually start with my brows. That's good, friend of face. Yeah, friend of face is a natural brow duo. What's nice about our natural brow duo is that it has a precision tip, so it's shaped like a triangle mm -hmm. to give you definition and volume. So depending on how you apply it, you can do like short strokes, you can mm -hmm. fill it in, depending on you know how much you'd like. I have my cute. So cute. Hello, Brandy. <laughs> Well, I love this pen because it makes it so much easier for me, especially me that I'm always on the go and I'm um, like in a hurry. Look, I just need to fill it in. Wow. So that was like, yeah, that was fast. That was really fast. And what's nice is with everything with Pixie, everything's fuss-free, multitasking. So, you know, if you want a natural soft brow, you can go with feather-like strokes. Mm -hmm. Or if you want, you know, like something a little more dramatic, then you can, you know, press a little heavier. Again, I'm Latina, so I'm dramatic. She likes dramatic. Okay, let's talk about the gel. So the gel is waterproof. And what's nice about this is, as you can see, Joe said he's nicely applying that onto the brows. And it seals the color in place and tames the hairs down. And what's nice, it's not going to fake or feather throughout the day. It's going to really stay put. And I know she's going to work on the other brown next, but guess what? Where else what? you can put it? Where else? Your hair flyaways. What? Tan no. goes down. Can you see? Oh my god. <sighs> wow. Oh my god. Perfect. You see, those are things that I would never think of. I know. Colleen, that's it. Every day I'm doing my makeup, I'm gonna call you. I'm here. I'm here. I'm doing my face. What next? And then I'm gonna use my, oh, I love this palette. This that's is a so brow good. powder palette. I love it because it has every shade, even like a, like black. And a brush. So you can mix. mix the shades together. Of course. Yes. So that I go like this. I'm like old school on that because I like them like kind of like faded. Mm -hmm. And What's great about this palette too is not only can you use it on your brows, but you can use it as an eyeshadow palette too oh, wow. for a smoky eye. So now we're gonna mist your face with the hydrating milky mist. And this is gonna give that boost of hydration, really set your makeup in place. Mm -hmm. I can put my foundation on? Yes, and you can mix it with the rose oil blend as well. Oh, wow, I have my little <laughs> spatula. Because I like to mix um, these two colors, number four and three. I'm going to put the rose oil. You can do a drop, a drop, depending on how many drops you'd like. Now I'm going to wet my sponge with the Milky Mist. For extra boost of hydration. Because you can never get enough. I love the coverage of this foundation. Oh, I know. And the Beauty Balm has ceramides, so it has the skin-loving ingredients. And ceramides are gonna give instant hydration and provide long-term hydration as well. Now, the other day at the boutique, you were telling me that Pixie, you, while you're wearing makeup, you're still treating your skin. Yes, yes, that is true. So all of Pixie's makeup is formulated with skin-loving ingredients. And when Petra created the skincare and makeup, she wanted to make sure that we're treating our skin as we're wearing it. So when we take it off, our skin looks even better. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at this side. I just want you guys to see this side, this side. Oof. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice and oh, nice and glow. You still have full coverage. It's very hydrated. See how important it is to have a good skincare because it shows on your foundation. <laughs> it shows. It's your canvas. It's your canvas. Okay. You can even see that with mine. Look at even skin tone. Like it doesn't yeah. look or feel like we have anything on. No. It looks like skin. And it feels like skin. It does, yeah. It yeah. looks like you have a. You just came out of the shower. <laughs> Toxify. So these are hydrogel eye patches. They have caffeine, so they'll energize the skin. It will help with dark circles and make you look like you had a good night's rest. 
can do it either way. I like it like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now your turn. Your turn. <laughs> And guess what? what? There are 60 in here, so 30 pairs. Not only can you wear it underneath your eyes, but you can wear it around your smile lines. Oh, wow. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> well, I can do that. You don't have to, but... We're gonna do it. Well, because you're telling me all this thing. This is the time. Colleen, can you tell me why it's important to have huh. products in the fridge, nice and cool? Oh, it helps with... It gives that cooling effect when you apply it. And it'll also help with depuffing as well. Now that we have our patches on and let them do their work, <laughs> it's time for the eyes. Sorry we're talking like this, but we just don't <laughs> want the patches to fall off. So now we're gonna use the Dream Shadow Palette I Enchanter. Do you have yours? Yes. Have there you go. Yay. Okay, so now do you crease in your eyes? Do you crease? I, I crease. crease. Do yes. you crease? So what I like to do is like with my sponge, just touch up a little bit. Yes. And then I like to grab like a, a light shadow like this. And I like to set my eye. So that will prevent the creasing. And also I do it as a like a base for my other shadows yeah. to pop even more. Right. That's, that's my tip of the day. <laughs> she has many more. This palette has 28 shades and if you're looking at it like, oh my gosh, I love those colors, but how am I gonna use it? Again, you're the artist at the end of the day. So you can wear one, five, eight colors on your eyes depending on your, on your mood. And not only can you use the rose oil blend in your skincare, but also you can mix it with your foundation like Josetti did, but you can dip it into an eyeshadow for more pigment. What? <laughs> oh my god, I need to try that right this second. Okay. Just become my best friend. I never thought I would love this so much. What you can do is you can dip it into your shadow. Can choice. you put it there? You can. Or, or you can, can do it on, on your brush. Okay, okay. A drop of the rose oil mm -hmm. into the brush and then now into the shadow of your choice. Let's see which one. Okay, I like this one. I like oh, this one. that's beautiful. Oh, wow. And this palette also has a blend of shimmers and demi mattes. Wow. It gives that that nice glide it does. and that intense effect. So this palette is very versatile. It has a blend of shimmers and mattes so you can mix and match depending on your mood. I love this mood. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I brought Colleen here because when I go to the boutique we will never end. There's so many tricks and she's here to bring all Petra's tricks. A new way to apply eyeshadow. Mm. I just love how it's blending. I'm just and I'm gonna apply it directly without so that you can see the difference on how the intensity of the oil picks up the pigment into the eyeshadow. Okay, so there's the rose oil and then no rose oil. So you can see the difference. It looks more intense your like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is me. <laughs> Yes. What a difference. It does look different. It just gives you different, like, effect. Stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. different effect. And oh, when I do this nice. over my eyelid. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wow. It's popping like crazy. Yeah. I don't even need to add more of the oil. No. Because I already have some on my lid. So. And yes, Josetti's using a brush. If you don't have a brush, when in doubt, use your fingers. So I'm just pressing and patting that right on. Oh, look at it. Hello, Pigman. And what's nice about the eyeshadows too is you don't need to be a pro to mix the colors together because they blend seamless. They do, yeah. totally. And I'm gonna take it a little bit to my inner corner. Oh, I like that, I should do that too. I'm gonna use this shade that is kind of like a little, like a champagne. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that right here. 
follow her look. Okay. And this is a lash line ink. So when you're nearly done, don't toss it because what you can do is grab a set of tweezers and flip it over so you have pretty much a refresh new eyeliner. <laughs> that is what I, wa I was like sold. Give me 20 of those please. <laughs> 20. Done. So Petra created this to meant to be dotted underneath the root of your lash line to make your lash line appear fuller. And what you would do is just underneath the root of the lash you would just press your lid like this and then what you would do is just kind of connect the dots underneath the root of the lash to make the lash line appear fuller. Wow, wait, I need to do that. Hold on. And then for those, if you're ever wanting to use a liquid liner, what's nice about this is that it has a felt tip and it's so pointy and fine. What you can do is place your elbow on your vanity and look down at the mirror and do short little strokes, kind of like you're connecting the dots mm -hmm. so that you're closing that the, the liner that you did on the root of your lashes underneath and on top to close that line to make again your lash line appear fuller. Now that we're done with the eyeliner, we have two mascaras and I love both of them, but today I'm gonna use the Lash Lift 188. Why 188? Do you know? Yes, Petra read an article um, that people have an average of 188 lashes. Total. Really? Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So it'll coat each one. That's crazy. Okay. First, I'm gonna use this side. It's a dual chamber. It has a thin brush and a large brush, so you can get into the fine corners, in the inner corners, or your lower lashes with the small one, and then the large brush can coat your top lashes. I have a little mascara on already and I use the Large Lash Mascara. What's nice about our mascaras is that our mascaras have vitamin E and panthenol to nourish the lashes. We're gonna take off these patches. Um, I am gonna put some lashes and then we'll be right back for the contour. Okay, we have our lashes on, we took our patches off. So for my concealers, I'm gonna use Warm and Mocha. These are my absolute favorite ones. And what are you gonna use? I'm going to use first our Correction Concentrate, which is a color corrector in Brightening Peach. And what is amazing about this is that you can wear it by itself or underneath concealer, and it'll make you look like you had like 10 hours of sleep when you really had three. You know what's the funny thing is that as much as you think that I have, like I have pixie all over my room, I have my own boutique, and I still think that I don't have so many products, I'm like, I literally need the whole boutique here, because I don't have that. She's close. I'm close. I'm getting there. My collection is getting there. Okay, I'll, so I can put this and then put this on top? Yes. Okay, let's yes. do that. I want to try. I want to try. I'm going to grab a little spatula and just grab some of hers because I have one. I need one. After this, we're going to the boutique and I need to get one right now. I put a, just a little dot. Maybe I'll go a little bit with my finger. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah, and then, uh, just to show you right there, and then to blend it, I'm gonna go in with my sponge again. Wow. Let me see. I'll um, do the same too, so you can see the difference. Wow, this is crazy. And again, you can apply it with a nylon brush or a sponge, or you can use yeah. your fingers. The only reason I don't use my fingers, the only reason literally is because I have long nails, guys, <laughs> but just go ahead. And do it with your fingers. Look at that. Literally. 10 hours of sleep right here. She snatched. What's nice about this correction concentrate is that it is infused with vitamins. So it's great for the thinnest layer of skin, which is underneath our eye. And not only can you use it underneath your eye, but you can also use it for a base for your eyeshadow. Love it! I'm gonna use my endless 
silky pen, silky eye pen. There we go. Yeah, it's super silky. It glides right on, and guess what? It will not move. So it, it is smudge proof. She's applying it on her waterline. You can use it as an eyeliner, and as you can see, how easy it just glides right on. And it's super silky. Right after you it has an award. It, Can we mention it's it? It's an award-winning eyeliner. Okay. So it's not just any eyeliner. It's the eyeliner. Award-winning eyeliner. And right after you've applied it on the eyes, you can smudge it out and create an eyeshadow. Or you can place it all over your eyelid and create an eyeshadow base. Place an eyeshadow right on top just right so here, that you right can here. see the pigment payoff. Okay. This one. Oh wow. Wow. So that's that with the endless silky eye pen. And this is the shadow without. So you can see the versatility of how you can use this eyeliner. I'm gonna use the warm concealer. That's just me, that's because I like heavy makeup, but if you want something lighter and it's still, you look awake, you look bright, everything, but it's just in a most natural way, you can use the correction concentrate. Exactly, you can use this and just stay like that, but this is just me. All the way here. And that's how I create that reverse contour. I'm still gonna go in with the other one, and I just wanted to bring that up. Why I take it all the way to my nose, that's gonna make my, my nose look smaller. And what I love about this is that it has a doe foot applicator, so mm -hmm. it mimics your finger. So again, if you don't have a brush, you can just apply this straight on. Oh, that's too easy for it. I was wondering, wow. Just go on with your finger. Again, if I use um, a sponge, that's because of my nails. <laughs> Just so you guys know. And again, you can use a sponge or a brush. Again, you can use your fingers to blend it out. Mm -hmm. I love And this has buildable coverage, so not only can you use it on your under eyes, but you can also use it as your face coverage and use a mist to blend it out. This one? Mm -hmm. Well, in general, I have to say, whenever I'm about to set my makeup, yes. I always use a mist and then I go in with the with the sponge and it just blends Blend it everything. Up. Yeah. It blends everything better. This is mocha. I love this shade. It gives me that um, bronzy look. Mm -hmm. Go in here, here. Just a little bit. Right here. I still go in with the powder. A little bit. Just as the base of my powder. And then also if you have two shades and you're like, okay, I have a lighter one and a darker one, what else can I use the darker one for? If you want a little color, you can mix it with a mist or a moisturizer and place it on your decollete or your legs to give you that bronzy look. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Just go in a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. Yeah. Oh, yes. And again, it does have buildable coverage. Perfect, perfected. This is a vintage one, but I just <laughs> love this one. A vintage pixie flawless finishing powder. Oh my god, and I just <laughs> found out. So I have a little sponge. Powder correcting. Yes. That's the one that's the same one? Yes. With different shades, right? Different Let me see. Shade. Yeah, there we go. What's so nice is that it's triple milled, so it doesn't look like you're wearing any no, powder. It doesn't. Love this palette. This is our favorite. Like for daytime, I use mostly this one, and for the nighttime, this. 
So today I'm gonna use this because it's so it's so little. So early. <laughs> so early. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go on top like this into put my counter. I think I'm gonna go in here. Look at you! Look at her! <laughs> oh, who can it? Who can it? <laughs> Of course, Pixie's all about being multitasking and fuss-free. Not only can you use it on your cheeks. That's why I brought you here. <laughs> That's why I want to call in here because I know the regular ways to use it, but she knows what else. Yes, and, yes, and, and. <laughs> and you can use them as eyeshadows. Oh, wow. Yeah, why not? From the Sugar Blossom, I'm going to use this shade for my blush. And then I'm gonna use this one over here for my highlighter. I'm upset with this highlighter. <laughs> Time for the lips. I'm gonna use orange red. Matte last liquid lip in Berry Boost. What's nice about these is that it has rose, so it's very nourishing. And with one stroke, you're gonna get an even application. So Petra designed this so that when you are applying this onto the lips, you can get right around the curves and the edges of the lips in one even stroke. And look at the color payoff. What's nice is that this is gonna last all day and it's so nourishing that it's not gonna dry out your lips. You can't even feel that it's there. I love it. Okay, so we applied our matte last liquid lip, but don't stop there because if you're like, oh my gosh, I wish that lip color had a matching blush, do not worry. We're going to mix it with our Flawless Beauty Primer. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, so just swatch a little bit on the back of your hand and then place a little of the Flawless Beauty Primer onto the back of the hand. Yes. Oh, oh, I put it on top. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yes. And now we're going to mix it together. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. And as you can see, now you have a matching blush. Okay, so now it's time to set. Can I set with the same hydrating Milky Mist? Yes, Since absolutely. Since I've been using it all the time. Can you do that? Yes. Can you mix? Can you use something else? No, no you can use oh. this. You can use any of our mists to set your makeup in place. They're a boost of treatment for the skin, but for those who really want to set the makeup in place or if you have oily skin that you want to just kind of tame down the shine, you can definitely use our makeup fixing mist. Oh, I, I want that, I want that, I want that. <laughs> you can do both, can absolutely. I, okay, let me do my hydrating mist. <laughs> so again, a boost of hydration. And? And now we're going to set that makeup and hydration in place with that makeup fixing mess. Mm. I like to grab my sponge and just set everything and blend, blend, blend. That's the last blend, or you can use your fingers too. I like to yes. just do that last blending. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna take my clips off and we'll be right back. And this is the final look. Oh my god, we look so pretty. Where are we going? <laughs> We're glowing. We're glowing. We're, We're glowing, glowing out. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Thank you so much, Colleen, for all these tips and tricks. I mean, I know how to do my makeup, but I love the multiple ways that you can use the Pixie products. Thank you so much for having us. We hope that you enjoyed it. We hope that you learned so much on this Pixie journey with us today. I'm going to be leaving all her information in the, in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification button, leave some comments below, and until next time, bye! Bye!